Stephen and his men went to face the approaching army, his brother, Bishop Henry, urged me up to the top of the cathedral. His fear had made him forget about our dispute. I had never been that high up. Pray with me, Philip. Pray that Stephen will win, so this war can end. I closed my eyes to pray. And I forgot about Kingsbridge, and the market, and what I wanted. I simply prayed for peace. And as I did, I realized that ever since the dream about my parents, I had not prayed. What if, as in the dream, my prayers would not be heard now? I begged the Lord to make me see. To make me see that he was there. Philip, look! I was too far away to understand what was happening. Robert's men, they're winning. Stephen is lost. It felt like the world was spinning under my feet. I was afraid that I would fall. I closed my eyes. And then, I saw. They're breaking through the church doors! And then I knew it was us. Only us. No devil to harm us. No god to protect us. Only us. Philip was gone for two weeks. We had no idea what had happened to him. To be true, we had other things on our mind, Ali and I. Are you sure we're alone? Right now. There's only you and me. Look at that. Told you. I hope Philip and Richard are all right. Me too. Say, Jack. Have you read our book? What about you? What did you think? <laughs> well, I thought it was good. You said it was good, so... No, this is Philip's fault. If all this falls apart because he set up an illegal market, he alone will be responsible. I have faith in him, and so should you. Who else could save Kingsbridge if not him? <laughs> do you still remember the text? Well, do you?
Well... I think I remember one part. Oh? And which one was that? <clears throat> Before me, she stood, her clothing set aside. No flaw to be found in all her body. All clothing was set aside? All of it. And there was no flaw? No flaw at all. <laughs> oh, his shoulders and his arms I saw and I caressed. And then his chest, a form made to be felt and touched. <laughs> Careful there. Oh, oops. Sorry. And don't be. How flat her belly beneath her slender waist. Her flanks, what form. What perfect thighs. Yours are remarkable as well. That's not how the text goes. Is it not? Maybe, uh, maybe it is. Why recall each aspect? Nothing that I saw lacked perfection. As I hugged my naked body close to his. <sighs> Ali. Yes? I love you. I love you too. I always will. something no it's only us Jack you and me it is us only us hey Philip the prior Monk! That's better. Never let them see you weak. Stand tall. What is there to look at, Monk? Why do you do all this? Because I want to. No god, bloodline, or fate made me king. I took the throne. I chose to rule, and I chose to fight. And I'm not done yet. Is it worth all these lives? To best Maud? By god, yes. It's a game that I intend to win. What about Ranulf's men? Probably glad to be out of the castle after all that time. Probably looking for women and getting drunk. How many died? What? How many people died in the battle? Too many. I even lost my horse. But Robert is not an animal. I'll give him that. Or we wouldn't be here. It's getting dark. It's not the end of days. Are you sure of that? I'm not finished here yet. So yes, I'm sure.
Richard! Don't draw attention to yourself. Not when they have you in a cage. Not if you're the king. Why am I in here? You are with us, are you not? I prayed for peace. Peace is the wait between one battle and the next. You were right about William Hamley. How so? The moment the battle took a turn for the worse, he and his men switched sides. The Earl of Shiring is fighting for Maud now, and for Robert. William Hamley is only fighting for himself and for Bishop Waleron. I will grant you your market rights, the same as Shiring. You will? Why? You were right about William. But you're not king anymore, are you? Before too long, the throne will be mine again. Assume I granted you these rights before the battle was lost. Do I have your word for it? I will let our Empress Maud know about you. Hold your market. Stand your ground. William Hamley will have no legal way of going against you. I will tell the guards there is no reason to hold you any longer. What about you? My loyals will make their moves. The game is not yet over. I ordered them to capture Robert to make an exchange. Maud knows it's not over. She'll savor each day that she has me under lock and key. She is her father's daughter, but the throne of England is mine. If you want peace, if you want to save the lives of the innocent, you have to give up. Never. That's the only thing I'm not good at. Then there really is no hope. Guards! Release the monk! 